Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Army of Four Long War of the Chosen. Got a jailbreak mission finally in our starting region. We can um, get some additional rebels there. Although, I mentioned the last episode already, we're getting a little bit hot over there. Also, we had camera. Um, camera move there. So we might not be able to run missions there too much longer. That's an conveniently close to my start hacking location, jail cell, and then also not too far to the evac. For those city center map um, maps, that's reasonably okay. Okay, I'm not hard scanning, but I'm noticing there's definitely a civilian on that spot, so we don't want to jump down there. Look, losing concealment is so tricky at start. I'm totally tile scanning to make sure I'm not jumping down into civilians. Mm. And again, actually with Rebecca there, I should be seeing all of that anyway. Hey, look there. Oh. Ooh. We don't have concealment after once we break concealment, right? So don't have anyone of Phantom. So that drone can be a little bit of a showstopper here. All the way in there. You have 11 mobility with an SMG. Holy crap, you are slow. Ideally, we want to open up with a big old Grenadier grenade on, on a group of advent dudes, but I guess the drone is gonna tell us how this mission goes. I'm all over. Just gonna steady here. Okay, the drone moves one tile to make sure everybody here in the squad is suddenly in the detection radius of the drone. So one thing we could try is to just shut you down. That gives us one turn of being able to move. Like we don't have Trojan, we don't have a longer longer turn shutdown. exactly what I was hoping to see. Well, except maybe that it's an engineer and an officer here. Because they have a lot of hit points. Good copy. Moving on target. But a nice, friendly group of grenade recipients. I want to go all the way there. And this, I do officially see all of these guys. So, he's actually a safe move. So, I could come all the way here. Now, the drone being um, hacked next to a vehicle means we can blow that up for guaranteed damage. Kill the drone that way. Or we can just move up and shotgun, I guess. Okay, but I think we got it. We got a grenade here. Throw that grenade. Throwing grenade. And let's see if we get a kill here or two. But 
two kills would have been very unusual against two enemies we can't technically kill with a single grenade. Right. <clears throat> Men can dream, right? That was my thought exactly. Okay, so there's a risk that he can flank me from here if I do this. Take a shot at this guy, but I think I'm... Well, we need to kill the officer. Love this. Oh, I've got the something in the air thing. All right. Now, that's the next problem here. Our drone friend needs to get six damage. What do we have here, though? Small intercache. Go to your feet. Okay. So you now just need to roll max damage here, please. Or crit, or, or neither of those. Okay. Raced. What was even your grace chance there? We do have lightning reflexes, so we don't care about this. Would move just here and take a slightly lower percentage shot and be out in the open, but then I at least keep my lightning ref uh, my running gun. Roger that. I'm under fire. Depending on whether or not we activate another group right now. 88. I mean, we got the, the bad shots out of our system here, right? So we can just take this, keep the running gun. Okay. Now. Yeah. It's your chance to hit on that drone. 80 something, okay. So we got four enemies down. Five to go. And our specialist is out for another turn. Will do. Snake. Snake sentry. Anything else? Please don't take a yellow alert shot here. Ooh, okay. Doable. I guess let's just see. Oh, we can't hit both of you because small small cover objects. Okay. Heads down. Sentry is actually the more dangerous enemy here. Because we can if all else fails, we can always bait the snake into a snake hack. Okay. I'm taking the 62 here. Okay. Oh, is that you I smell? Well, alternatively, we can just use the stun gun here. No, that's not a great activation. A priest and a drone. That is really not a good activation.
That is all around terrible. I don't want to be in that spot, I think. Is there any way we can take care of... Running gun up and shotgun the drone, so that at least nobody gets stunned. Somebody might get wrapped. Alternatively, I can run and gun here, being right next to the snake should, should force her, uh, you know, entice her to, to come in for a wrap. Hmm. Alternatively, I just shoot the snake because we need to kill it sooner or later, right? Even if we stun gun it now, that's then just additional hit point problem for next turn. Let's go for the shot. Now it's not gonna kill, but I hope you're close enough that you're more likely to... ...fuck somebody. Yeah, are you gonna stasis me? You are stasising my grenade here, okay. Wait, but I think that means the drone can't actually reach anybody. Okay. Holy shit! This flank. So it's one point of damage. Suddenly the hug is no longer the harmless thing here. Oh, that is not good. Oh, okay, good news is... Um... I think we can, we can manage that. So, obviously, you will need to shoot the snake to cancel the bind. Rolling. Enemies down. Gonna need to reload soon. So, what are we going to do here? We can kill the drone by throwing a grenade on the, onto this. Close up the car and does 6 damage to the drone. And maybe after blowing it up... I come forward and flashbang this guy. Yes, I have a flank on my stasis guy. Can also flank counter flank him. Flank denial, as I like to call it. Although I'm also concerned that this priest can jump through here over the window and come in here and flank reactions again. But it's like we're not killing everything. Like the other alternative is I try to hack the drone and then that frees up Rebecca to take probably a shot. This guy maybe here from the high ground. But we're not gonna do seven damage. We're not gonna get through the holy warrior shield.
Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's come up. Let's throw the grenade. Which, interestingly enough, doesn't hit the drone. So yeah, I think we need to kind of solve the flank. Okay. Now, the priest did a stasis. He did a holy warrior. He can still do a mind control. That is kind of the scary part. Or he can just, you know, do nothing and shoot. Okay. That was close. Speed PCS, no. Okay, um, that run gun. Double time. Then we're just gonna do a stun gun here. Basic priest is not immune to that. Does that cancel a holy warrior? Actually, it does not. Well, you know what cancels all anymore, you know? Killing the freaking dude. I can handle that. Get ready for a surprise! Come on. Seven damage with that knife? What? Oh, we can't do seven damage with the gunner. No, we can. Just not with the gun. Which I think, actually, now. Let's keep, Let's keep doing that. Game. Kinda need um I have a bad feeling about this. Need to overkill the guy so he doesn't go into his priest sustain, right? Yeah, it's the hack first. Um I think watch list would be really powerful here. We can get that. We can't. Uh, we're not getting any hacking rewards in this campaign. I think that did the trick. All right, so I was going to do some math on uh, the chance that he does not go and sustain is uh, based on blah and loop and. Yeah, you just take the shot. And if we wouldn't have gotten the kill, we would have need to come in overwatch because he will move, being flanked there, and then hope for the best. Hope for the SMG overwatch. But hey, I'm happy if I don't have to do that. It's that. Got it, moving. That will be back. Let's see, can we continue the trend of not getting any hacking rewards? Two for two. Move, move, move! Solid copy. Yeah. 
think we're probably out next turn here. Heading home. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. The others surely didn't come this way. Running. Onwards. Oh, I'm hungry. Status Stain. confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Taking a wound always sucks, but I mean, this kind of. Uh, we, I think we got a little bit um, lucky in the last few missions with four, what, four flawless missions in a row. So, yeah, back to assaults getting damaged. Injured. Now, we would not have gotten injured if you uh, already had. Field surgeon, but that's still a little bit further away. Okay, so you're not going to be overwatching, right? So we're not going to pick up Sentinel because with that aim, that's there's no point in that. So it's the good old question between revival and combat protocol, and I know that everybody likes to shit on combat protocol. <laughs> It's the whole how are you dealing with drones kind of question. Um, like if somebody gets mind control, disoriented, panic, then revival is super nice to have. But also being able to contribute in some way and picking off that low health enemy. And at the moment, until Advent gets the first HP bonus, they still one shots drones. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, the other thing is, um, for the longest time, everybody's saying combat protocol is, is bad, so nobody's ever taken it, right? So I'm kind of like, okay, how bad is it? Let's test it again. Maybe uh, we're just gonna see. Oh yeah, you know what? On paper, it sounds not so bad, but in reality, it's awful. Should have never taken that. That can be a result of the test, or it can be like, yeah, you know what? It's not super terrible. I like to occasionally test out bad talents just to either confirm or uh, challenge my my perception of those. Anyway, that being said, we're still taking center mass here. Not not um, testing out anything here. Although, I could also say, hey, squad of four having somebody with combatives that is not a shinobi because you won't always have a shinobi might be very very valuable. Keep that in mind for future gunner promotions. Uh, we're still going offensive grenades here. Um, let's go close and personal for the guaranteed crits. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. South Africa, three new rebels. That were all gonna help me out of Intel. We should definitely get a Haven Advisor in there and check for faceless. I just don't think we have anybody right now that's not low on willpower to begin with. So we're not gonna. Avenger plotting new course. Let's grab that loot. I'm fairly certain. Um, so we're still looking for the Liberation 2 mission in this region. And by now it's been so long since we had Lib 1, I don't think we get it this cycle. So let's pick up the loot uh, so that we can scan next cycle. Yeah, there it is. There is Lib 2. 19 hours. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I know. It's going to be a little bit challenging. No, we're not doing this. Oh yeah, that almost lines up. Uh, once we're done here, we can go back here, do this. South Africa is up to strength 4. 
and it didn't come from here. Okay, the jailbreak here is 100, but we're gonna do a little tip here. What's our troop column at 100? 10 to 12 troop column. Our first mission of the campaign where we bring five people. We've got Vulture, we've got Vatwerk. Let's get some kills, get some corpses, and um, see from there. We'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.